to today. What's your story about Zainab? Well, my story is about two young women with a guy, a gentleman. Um, these young women are beating odds. They are surprisingly in the construction sector. And when I went to do the story, I actually found them in a workshop and they were actually hands-on creating stuff. And I was blown away. Mumbi, take it away. Awesome, awesome. Now, when you hear uh, construction, what comes to your mind? A couple of men sweating it out in a construction site? Well, you might just be caught in a surprise. In today's Good Vibes segment, we feature a group of young women who are beating the odds and excelling in the construction business. Our reporter Zainab Mohammed caught up with the young women and filed this report. <laughs> In the middle of a dusty workshop in Kiambu's Ruaka Estate, we meet 22-year-old Amran Osman. She is in the middle of getting a project done. Amran is a young woman in the construction industry, an odd job you might think, but this is her passion. Well, uh, passion, yeah, it's passion. Your passion. We, my partner and I, we met in in, in in campus, and then we decided, you know what, we like this, so let's just start it. Amran, together with her two partners, are not afraid to break the glass ceiling, as they construct beautiful homes, one client after the other. But how did they start? It is a contractor, and my mom sells construction materials so since I was a young kid I've followed that trend and I've seen and, and I've seen it throughout my life business on interior design construction and stuff so me being always excited about things I was like yeah you know this is possible kept pushing her to do this until um, where she is today. According to them, the journey has not been easy, with many discouraging their efforts in pursuing their passion. Challenges are there. You don't have enough um, staff or people who are aligned with your thoughts. You don't have people who see the vision like you see. You have a lot of naysayers along the way who would be like, ah, see, the people are already in that field. And we've had a lot of that. See, there are a lot of interior designers. Everyone is an interior designer today. Everyone is in construction, so you do something else. But then if we were to follow such advice and we would have collapsed by the time we started. It's, it's a stereotype that I had to break it myself, that you know it's possible that you can wear a hijab, a, 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 a hijab and be in a workshop. You know, you can wear a hijab and tell a phone, you know, I don't like this, change it. It's, it's possible. For them, the glamorous outcome of the job is not all that is to it, as COVID-19 brought with it curses and blessings in equal measures. I can say that people have been stuck at home and they've seen that they need to change the environment. And so we've been called by so many people. We've gone to their homes, we've changed the environment, we've changed the colors, the setup of the home. The trio now say entrepreneurship is the way to go with a message to the young generation in the country. Entrepreneurship, it's a, it's a fun game. Yeah, it's a fun game. It's a, it's a game that you can never be perfect. You think you know, but you don't know. You're always learning. Every day you're learning. Every day you're meeting new people. You know, every day there's a new challenge. So. These young entrepreneurs are beating the odds and proving that where there is a will, indeed there is a way. And what men can do, women can do better. <laughs> For TV 47, I'm Zainab Mohammed. Well, um, Mudoka, yeah. what do you think? Uh, I mean, I'm quite thrilled to see uh, Ambran swinging that hammer eh? such magnificently. Oh. Uh, uh, it's about, I think I'm quite happy with what the young generation is embracing, especially in the country. Mm -hmm. What for many years have been termed as odd jobs are what even the young generation are uh, going into. 
it's all about passion and many people it's quite easy for many people to discourage you into doing these things that have been for so long categorized as odd jobs but this is passion mm -hmm. this is about you know following purpose and doing uh, what you feel your mm -hmm. heart deserves to do and it's something that is quite impactful something that Mundi. Mm. Uh, yeah. uh, mm. has I, caught Mudoka's eye I am even surprised <laughs> how he's even saying the the name so uh, swiftly yeah. with no pronunciation issues wow I feel that Zainab, wow. is it love at first sight <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> that gender lines are slowly blurring yes. I mean there is no such thing as having a job for men and women and it's like what I was thinking when the story was running it's also about the men uh, because most of the time we talk about the women you know doing this uh, job that are uh, historically known to be male jobs but it's the same as we see Zainab we see men getting into the beauty industry mm -hmm. and also another yeah. uh, industry is also nursing another profession so mm -hmm. I think it's really interesting how people are slowly changing yes. their mm -hmm. mentality that mm -hmm. only that only men can do certain jobs yes. or only women can do certain jobs mm -hmm. and it's really sometimes you have to do what you have to do yeah. Zainab it's interesting also that this is happening in the middle of a pandemic meaning you have to do what you have to do, like I said. Yeah. Because maybe you are jobless. Are you going to stay in the house because mm -hmm. they, you have no job, you have nothing to do? Really, yeah. it's about doing what you have to do. Yeah. When, when I actually saw this story on Twitter, I know you would see that they are Muslims and you'd imagine, ah, t this must be her cousins or something. But no, <laughs> I didn't know these ladies. I saw mm -hmm. them on Twitter. I was impressed. I was moved being a feminist and wanting to support other women I decided, I mean, this is a story that needs to be highlighted. People need to know that actually you can be a Muslim, you can be a woman, and you can actually do construction and still excel. And you know, it's fascinating seeing 22-year-olds, because I think the average age, age is at 22, mm -hmm. 23, mm -hmm. uh, have such uh, purpose-driven lives yeah. mm. and trying to um, make an impact, yeah. Yeah, leave a mark And, and let me not And let me not mention the, the amount of money these young ladies are making, because, because you would be mm. very, very shocked. <laughs> a lot of money no not not, not little not little, not little. Uh -huh. i mean oh, it's in okay. the ranges of let me not say because i was asked to keep privacy but they're doing really well Ex wow example, interesting yeah. and it's funny how we ignore such jobs because mm -hmm. we think they are odd and people are making a kill out of this job so it's mm -hmm. really really inspiring as well don't choose don't be choosy whatever comes your way Yes. You know, yes. Do it. Yes, sure. Awesome. Thank you so much, Zainab, for that story. Really, really inspiring seeing Muslim women, you know, get into that kind of